and gentlemen, we cannot go an entire week without discussing the Sun Belt. I mean, what are we thinking here? The South Alabama Jaguars. They're going to visit the Louisiana Raging Cajuns 7 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN+. Plus. Get your streamers out. Louisiana, a seven-point home favorite here. South Alabama is plus 223 on the money line at BetUS. Total of 58 currently on this game, so it's 32.5 to 55.5 implied score. Parker, Louisiana has been uh, incredible on offense so far this season. They are number five in PPA per drive. They are number 32 in offensive explosiveness, and I am sure that they're going to be able to put up points on the Jaguars. But I think South Alabama can score here as well. Tell me what your numbers are expecting. Yeah, um, I have them at 21st opponent adjusted EPA per play, which is just absolutely absurd for for a Sun Belt team. Uh, That defense is down to 80th, though, and does struggle. 127th in success rate, 102nd in EPA per rush allowed, 132nd in third and fourth down success rate. Yikes. uh, South Alabama is uh, a little bit more balanced overall, 70th on offense, 88th on defense. But I do think that offensive number is uh, weighed down by there were some games. uh, Lopez missed. There's been some inconsistency. I think when they're healthy, they are much better than the 70th offense in, in the nation. And so uh, I, I certainly see that vision here. I, I do have this as a lot of points. I've got Louisiana slightly covering. I don't necessarily trust it um, per, per se, because I do think that South Carolina, or excuse me, South Alabama has this uh, explosive ceiling that they can access that they just haven't been. They're 12th in raw offensive success rate, only 78th in EPA per rush, uh, 66th in EPA per dropback. So I do think there's some, uh, some you know, market fundamentals about South Alabama saying, hey, they're outperforming even the advanced numbers or are capable of outperforming the advanced numbers overall. Uh, if Louisiana is going to win this game, I, I think there's a couple key things that stand out. One, they're second in starting field position allowed. South Alabama is 26th in starting field position. So uh, you know, if they can keep South Alabama from getting those favorable short fields from that turnover that that kind of sets up uh, South Alabama up for for easy points, I think that'll matter a whole lot. Um, and then their uh, Louisiana's offense very balanced on early downs and late downs, fifth in EPA per play, third and fourth down success. They're ninth overall, so they are creating some chunk plays and then they're cleaning up uh, on those third and shorts to extend the drives as well. That's kind of the vision for for them there. And you know, best unit on the field is Louisiana's offense, but I think there's a strong argument here that South Alabama's offense is, is a little bit better than their numbers are showing. I Yeah, I agree with you on that. Uh, Louisiana has won and covered three of the last four against the Jaguars. Uh, the Cajuns have covered in three straight games this season. South Alabama has covered two of their last three, so for some of those recent trends there. Uh, Kyle, penalties could be a big factor here. You know I like talking about the uh, the fundamentals of the game. Louisiana has got a, a big advantage in penalty yards, but when it comes to the down-to-down efficiency, I feel like this thing's pretty evenly matched. Uh, Tell me what you make of the number, either the total or the side here. I think both of these teams might be a little bit overrated. Um, They're both plus eight in turnover margin. South Alabama, just two interceptions so far this year. Louisiana hasn't lost a single fumble all season, which is definitely hard to do. Um, These two teams are first and second in the league in yards per play margin. This is a fun game. I like the Sun Belt quite a bit, so I'm glad uh, you got it on the sheet here. The offensive lines are really impressive. That's what I like about these two teams. Uh, South Alabama first in offensive line yards in the country. Wow. Uh, Louisiana 19th. Louisiana's fourth in havoc rate allowed. Very good. Louisiana plays that um, bend but don't break defense. 120th in defensive success rate allowed, but sixth in uh, preventing big plays. South Alabama 59% run plays in the conference. Louisiana 119th in defensive line yards. Um, they're giving up almost five yards per carry. I think South Alabama can run the ball pretty well in a game like this. Louisiana definitely has the better secondary. Um, I do think the Raging Cajuns can throw it some against the Jaguars secondary. The slow pace for the two teams is what kind of kept me off it, but I do kind of like the over in this game. I think both teams have a path to success on offense. Um, it's just difficult when both teams are pretty good at not giving up big plays and they're both playing slowly. Uh, to bet an over at this number. But I think this will be a pretty good back and forth game. So probably would lean toward taking the points and over is my strongest lean here. Yeah, I took this one at eight uh, and it's come down a little bit. I've got Louisiana favored by only 5.86. My last four weeks model only has Louisiana favored by two. Um, It's because South Alabama should be able to do almost whatever they want on offense here. Uh, The same with Louisiana on the other side. Uh, South Alabama is number six in PPA per rush on offense. Louisiana's defense is number 127. So the longer that the season goes, uh, the more I think a team like Louisiana 
maybe could uh, maybe crack a little under the pressure. I think that's maybe the, the best way to put that. South Alabama is certainly volatile, uh, but the way that their offense can move the ball, I, I think this is a coin flip whether or not they could win the game outright. So I'll certainly take the points here. I liked it better at eight, but even at a touchdown, I'll take South Alabama. Let's go and lock that one in. So South Alabama plus the seven uh, at Louisiana in this spot. I, I feel good about this one.